Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Welcome, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie and Judy. How are you? Stephanie Bauer and Judy Cox, how are you? Good, thank, thank you. you. Thank Very you for good. joining me here in Dallas, Texas, live on the Valder Beebe Show. I get to talk to you guys uh, about the, and be, excuse me, about what's coming up on your plate. Let's start with you, Judy. Give us a, set the stage for us. And I'm in Stephanie. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Um, I'm here with Judy, Susan's mother. And Susan went missing nearly 10 years ago, and she left behind a husband, small children, and her body has never been found, and no one was arrested for the crime, we think, that occurred. So now, 10 years later, police are finally releasing these disturbing home videos, which we'll show for the first time on our series on oxygen. And this is a glimpse into Susan's life before she went missing and it's a great opportunity to really see what she was going through because she was being secretly recorded by her father-in-law Steve Powell who had an obsession with her so while it will be very hard for people to watch we think it's important for everyone to finally see them Susan as Judy mother what do you add to the conversation for us um that this, uh, what happened to Susan can happen to anyone. And for them to be aware of their relationships. And if they feel they are having problems or issues and uh, things don't seem right, it's a good way to get out of that relationship. Did you feel, um, and I, hopefully I said it right as Susan's mother, did, did you feel, did your spirit tell you, because there's a communication system we all have, did it, it, it tell you something was just not right? Yeah, um, I met, he was actually pursuing um, our oldest daughter in uh, dating, and, and she t said no way, uh, basically, and when she found out that he went to her sister Susan, um, she talked to her about that he was not a good person, and I think that made Susan feel sorry for him. But uh, when I met him, he was very strange, and uh, I didn't have a good feeling at all. And uh, my daughter approached me one day about it, and I told her the truth because I feel you should always tell the truth. And... Uh, hoping that she would date more people and not um, get serious. But um, that's something you really can't do when your daughters are, you know, um, pursuing and enjoying company with a certain person. I want to thank you, and I express my remorse for any uncomfortability that you have experienced through this experience. And I know that your child will be delivered for you. Well, Let thank me you. ask you, Stephanie, you, you've done this kind of reporting in, in the past. Is her, her uh, instincts natural? Um, I think that Judy, in saying that they all thought Josh was a little odd, uh, it, it says a lot because it really says, you know, listen to your parents, listen to your instincts. When people are telling you something, maybe you don't see it. And Susan wanted to sort of rescue Josh, and she wanted to be married. She got married very young. She wanted to have a family. Susan wanted to do the right thing. And though Josh wasn't giving her black eyes or anything for people to see, he was definitely abusing her in other ways, uh, controlling her money, controlling her, who she should spend time with. So that's what we really want people to see in this special, is the events leading up to Susan's disappearance. So if anyone's in the same situation, they can do something. And I think when we air the videotapes and Susan's journals and the course of the investigation and how exactly this could happen to a girl like Susan, I think people's eyes will be open to all of that. On Oxygen, the disappearance of Susan Cox will be, will be told. Let me ask you also too, Stephanie, do you think uh, uh, there will be any revelations that come forth from the viewing public? Because to me, this makes sense for doing this. Yeah, definitely when working on this uh, series, we had a goal. We wanted to 
finally come up with a timeline of what happened to Susan, a distinctive theory on her last moments, what could have happened to her, and who was involved, because no one was arrested. And unfortunately, as you'll see in the series, most of the people involved are dead now. So who can be held responsible? We're offering a distinctive theory of what happened to Susan Cox Powell for the first time. Will there be a way for people to phone in tips or anything like that? Because this is an important story. Oh, absolutely. And we know that after the show airs, uh, law enforcement will probably be flooded with what we hope are tips that can lead to finding her body, because that's all that the, the Coxes want now is just to bring their daughter home. Well, I'm so, I'm so proud of Oxygen and doing this. When can we watch? Sure. It's a two-night event. It airs May 4th and 5th at 7 on Oxygen, and it's called The Disappearance of Susan Cox Powell. Stephanie Bauer, Judy Cox, I thank you. I thank you for the work that you do, Stephanie. And Judy, my heart definitely goes out to you and all those that you love. Thank you for being my guest on the Boundary BB Show. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.